Morning! You join us early in the morning and we're about to... Richard, wake up! Okay. We're about to go and have some fun with some triumphs, I believe. Yeah, because it's 50 years of Swift Fire being made. It is indeed this year, yes. So we're going to go and take uh, my Spitfire out for some fun and... I uh, take mine out as well. Yeah. And then hopefully we're going to meet a few of the Spitfires before finishing off with a nice campfire tonight. Good, good. Should we go? Let's go. Let's go then. Right. Hello again internet people and welcome to yet another different car. This is Foxy, the Silver Fox. This is what I bought after uh, Phil persuaded me that Spitfire was a wonderful car. Um, if you remember, way back I think in episode one, I told them that I was going to buy one that worked and I completely failed. Uh, I went for the important things when buying a, a small chassis sports car like this. I wanted a nice paint job and I wanted a chassis that was fairly solid and I got that. Mechanicals on a Triumph Spitfire are relatively cheap and I bought something knowing the engine wasn't so great. Uh, the engine was in fact completely f***ed and we've since taken the engine block out and bought a new expensive fully sorted rebuilt engine block to go in and that's not working so well either. So while I do some uh, tinkering to uh, make sure that I've still got oil in the car Phil, if you could give me a hand. You've got to have two people when you own one of these to open the bonnet. Uh, Phil will show you around his uh, lovely green Spitfire, which has uh, changed colour. Thanks. Right, people. Um, I did have a nice green little Spitfire, and no, this isn't a paint job that everybody asks us. No, 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 get lost. Um, it broke. Like anybody addicted to smack, I needed to get some more. So. I quickly went out and bought a very rare one of these because it actually works and that's its biggest feature from the other one plus being orange or red depending on if you like gingers or not. I think it's time to go. Oh no, I've got to wait for him to mess on. I'll be along in a minute. Right, let's go. in the middle. Bugger off! Thank you. There's actual cars stopping us. And we're off! Uh, there is one problem with letting me go first and that's I don't actually know where we're going. Houston, we have a problem. What problem have we got? I don't know where I'm going, so I'm just going to pull in and let you go in front. That's all right, you can follow me. I know where I'm going. See, them being the foolish buffoons they are, have decided to give me, on my own, having to deal with lots of technology. So, strapped to, to my um, man member is the microphone. Um, because the car in front is so chavy and noisy, he's got to have the better microphone. So the brakes aren't too fantastic. My, uh, my 88 is actually pretty good compared to this. The handbrake doesn't work particularly well. Uh, apparently that's a common fault due to the, the strange way the rear suspension works. Uh, when you have a different amount of weight in the car, the handbrake operates differently. So I'm supposed to be filming stuff and talking, but as I offend everybody out there, I'll just sing you the song. Let's rock the mic, let's rock the mic, sake! The, uh, the heater doesn't work, in that it doesn't really seem to switch on or off or, or do much of anything. All the controls seem to be disconnected. Ground control to major tone, check ignition. Uh, my gauges do seem to work at the moment. Who let the dogs out? Ooh. 
windows work, doors work. Engine kind of works, although you can hear that sort of prolonged rattle as I accelerate. That sounds expensive. God, there's a lot of shite coming out of his car. And I am on occasion drowning Phil behind me in, uh, in blue smoke. Other than that, it's nice. Knock, knock! You're supposed to say who's there. I'm not going to tell you this joke because you'll just whinge on the forums and it's sexist or something against people. I'm finding it hard to concentrate on sorting the camera because this is a, just a really nice area and a really nice road, so you'll have to give, forgive me if I just kind of just drive it instead. There are the ever-present sheep to dodge, though. Stay where you are. Sheep! Oh, sheep! Sheep, sheep, sheep! You can play along at home. It's called Point at the Sheep. Sheep! Sheep! Another brilliant feature of this particular Spitfire. Uh, it seemed to have been previously owned by a bunch of monkeys. Um, the, uh, the wipers were among many things that didn't work when I picked it up. Uh, when I reconnect the electrics properly, they promptly uh, parked themselves in the middle of the windscreen, uh, which necessitated stripping the wiper motor apart and uh, altering the, uh, the stop inside that. None of it terribly complicated, you know, but... Sheep! Sheep! Most of my lights are now working, which I suspect is what's done it for the engine, because I think when you have a triumph with working electrics, you're kind of tempting fate. Sheep! 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 You may note from the distinctive rumble that this car's got the wheelbarrow exhausts. They're a little bit loud. I don't think I'll be taking them off due to expense, but uh, I wouldn't choose to fit them myself. Sheep! 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 Between the rattle of the engine and the, uh, the noise of the exhaust, you might occasionally hear a squeaking. That's my steering column. That's, uh, the steering wheel is squeaking against the column for some reason. But we did check it was on tight. We checked that within a uh, quarter of an hour of buying the car, in fact. Not that we were worried or anything. Or oh, sheep. Or oh, sheep. Or oh, f***ing sheep. Sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. This is a this is a really steep hill, and I'm hoping the person in front of me doesn't break out. The problem with a really steep hill down into a valley is it means we've then got to go up the re no no don't don't break don't break that hard don't break that hard. Oh, let's go down again. Thank you. We've then got to go up the really steep hill on the other side, which should be a challenge because it's, uh, it's a lot worse than this one. This is a really big bank. And now I've got to try and get up it without killing Phil in fumes. And yeah, third gear isn't going to cut that at all. Now we have to go slow. Hurry up! I'm doing the best I can! I'm in a Land Rover, not a sports car. Oh shit. If I'd wanted a fast car, I would have bought something else. Come on! We've now got a slow person in front. Yeah, we're going to go back to second. At just the point I drop down, a, drop up a cog because it's screaming like f***ing at us. It's 4,000 revs there, that's where it about gives up. And he's off. Probably because it sounds like a sack of spanners. God, there's a lot of crap coming out of that car. It's not foggy, honest.
moving behind me there? Um, there was a lot of smoke. There is a lot of smoke. It's all right. There's an old alpha just came past before, and uh, it was it was churning out blue smoke behind it as well. And uh, oh, I feel better now. The smoke coming out is that going to give me cancer? I'm not entirely sure. Because not for many years, I wouldn't. Have yes, because be when right. I get cancer in years to come, mm -hmm. I'm going to blame you. Oh, I was going to show you have new evidence, but we've got it on film, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. So people out there in internet land, maybe you should evidence. go first next time. Possibly, but then I'll get lost mm. again. Yeah, well, where, where did you did you think we weren't coming down here? I don't know where we we're going. Fair I never know out. You were at the planning meeting. You must have been drunk. Uh, yeah. So I gather um, going up that hill, you could have gone a bit faster than me there. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think the rings are definitely a bit shot because uh, that was that was kind of the best I could do. <laughs> Your rings are a bit shot. <laughs> It's so always a, a lower tour than you always manage to find it, yes, yes. In this particular class of sports car, you've got the Spitfire, you've got the MG Midget, and they're kind of both much of a muchness. And I must admit, when I was looking at a sports car, I did look at the Midget, because I didn't want to buy a Spitfire, because Phil has one. Uh, and I kind of came to the conclusion that, uh, that this is better looking. Plus... Plus, it doesn't have the hideous bumper of the 1500 midget. Yeah, yeah, the, the bumper really... I, I think if the, if you put put a chrome bumper on a midget, it actually does look rather nice. Um, but that, that horrific thing they, they put on to sell it to the Americans, I don't understand why this managed to be sold to the Americans without having a silly bumper. Because they did two different ones. Have you not like looked online and there's like the hideous ones with the hideous... Oh, I hadn't seen them. No. Aye. So in addition to nobbling the carbs, they, they nobbled the car as well. Yeah, so we could have a picture up here. Yeah, make the producer do some work. It must be very unfortunate being American, trying to have a nice sports car. Yeah, well, the fatness slows them down anyway. Um, Quite possibly. There's a little cup holder here. I haven't got a cup holder. Yeah, I've got the better seat. Um, the other thing is, the the size of them is a bit smaller. Um, yeah, I must admit, I had concerns about my height with a midget. Um, and surprisingly, the Spitfire is very roomy. I'm six foot one, six foot two fits me in no problem plus I think that's um, the Poontang might like that a bit more than a, the midget the midget looks a bit boxy and old car we wear that's got a old modern look I'm talking ah, but, shape but you're, you're closer in, in the midget you see you don't, have the, you don't have the room inside but is that an advantage or a disadvantage it depends who you're with yeah depends I mean, obviously if, if, I, if I'm sharing a car with you then the Spitfire is much better yeah, yeah. Uh, I gather the the, uh, the midget doesn't have a lovely front massive opening bonnet to get the things. No, I think it would be a right pain in the arse if you had to do an engine yeah. rebuild that you're going to have to do because it's that engine. Uh, well, yeah, I, I can't really vouch anything for the reliability of, uh, of these engines because I've gone through two in as many weeks. Yeah, and I've gone through one mm. in the other car. Yeah, we I think I might, just, I might just have to pinch your engine out the green Spitfire. That that is the way to solve all, all my problems. Right, should we help um, lock and load soon? Yeah, I suppose we should uh, should continue on. Um, I think I think this deserves a montage, really. Let's have a montage. English weather. Well, as you can see, we decided to stop for a bit of lunch, and this is happening. 
it's absolutely chucking it down. So, hopefully without too many raindrops on the audio, we will carry on regardless. Phil, are you ready to depart? Leaving yet another car park, but now it's starting to pee down. So, Phil, now that it's raining, how is the. Uh, yeah, the water could be blowing up. Since I fixed it, it's um, nice and dry. Have you got duct tape all over it again? Yes, but this is professionally duct taped, so you can't see it. Um, the major fault is door problems. Um, the very hard to open. Now we can have a conversation then. I would do, but this mic I can't hold in very well. Because look what the f he hasn't even repaired it. That's why I'm working with Forky Dorkies. Absolute shit. I'm meant to be talking here, but yet again, our plans have failed because Tricky can't have decent equipment. It's all his fault he broke retread. I didn't even see him turning there. I didn't even see. Give us a decent amount of indication next time. Oh, it, to be honest, it sounded like the exhaust had just fell off, so I'm just going to check that it hasn't. Well, the exhaust hasn't fallen off. Uh, now let's see if we can start our open. Now nothing's wrong. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds fine, fine to me as well. Keep going, I suppose. Yeah. I've no idea where Phil's now. Oh, there he is. Now he's pointing the wrong bloody way. There was an extremely bad noise. So I stopped and sounded like the exhaust fell off. Right. So I, I don't know. Right. So I was just going to continue on because I can't find what the problem is. I'll spin back round then. Oh, there's a f***ing Land Rover in the way now. Right, I'll... Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll follow you for a bit. Do you want to play the game of what's wrong with my car? Play the game of what? What's wrong with your car? Sorry, it's difficult to hear your voice over the noise of the engine in my car being shit. That's fault number one! <laughs> it is, I mean, primarily that is what's wrong with it. If, if I had a decent engine in this car, it would be pretty good. The, there are a number of other things. Most of the other things that are on are just, just like general maintenance things, though. The lights aren't quite perfect, the seats are a bit iffy. Uh, the brakes aren't so good. Well, other than the engine, it's kind of okay. See, all them um, complaints that you just had, like brakes and stuff, they're called features for a Spitfire. You failed miserably. How have I failed? It's, it's raining. Yeah. You know, if you're going to have trouble, it'd be far better in well, sunshine. I have it when it was, it was sunny. Um, I'm about ready to go home, to be honest. I'm uh, really not enjoying this experience at all. The rain is just kind of the the rain is representing my mood at the minute because this just sounds worse and worse. Um, it's it's just sounding more and more expensive the more I drive it. It's terrible. Well, John, I leave it and we'll pop in mine. I know quite a nice road just down there. 
and we can have a bit of. Um, yeah, I think I'd like to leave this to cool down because it always seems to sound worse when it's warmed up. Uh, Plus, I'm getting. Rather just not I'm getting bloody yeah, wet. Right, that's a way and leave that bloody piece of shit behind. Always in the way, aren't we? Yeah. I think it's already stopping raining. I know, it's... It was that heavy, you couldn't... Yeah, you could, we could have stayed on it, could have, could have stopped. Anyway, I know quite a nice little road to go down. Um, oh good. But I'll have to turn around, like everything. Nice now, should we pull in and put the hood, kick the hood down? Yes, I think that's probably a good idea. Because the idea of driving this is to cover up. Oh, yes. It's difficult getting in here with Phil's car because the door jams. But engine works. <laughs> <coughs> that's better, I thought you right, This is the proper way to uh, fold the hood. By the way. Or oh, here's probably a way to fold the hood. Pop these a bit again, it's easier with two people. Basically protects all the windowy bits from cracking. Because you don't want cracks. No. So then it's not a window, it's a crack. I'm sure you could have worded that better. I could have. But you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Is that thunder? Either that or someone's nicked my car. Is it worth putting the hood back up? <laughs> nah. We'll risk it. We'll risk it. Okay. Right, let's go. Let's go! And we're off again. How far is it to this? Uh... It's very nice this car, but it's still not the green car. That's I know it sounds very weird with this, all the problems I've had with it. Yeah, this this actually feels for, for the same car, same year, same everything. This feels a lot more refined. Uh, the green car feels a bit more sporty and dangerous, though. Yeah, mine is is very nice in terms of uh, paint job and. I think chassis, although I have this horrible feeling that like everything else on the car, when I've looked at it in detail after having bought it, uh, I suspect the sides are probably, the sills are probably full of filler. Yeah, this one is very middle of the road. It's it is at the minute, yeah. yeah. Just to remind you, so you haven't got really pretty excited, you know. It's all beauty is it's a very cheap car. It's the cheapest sports car you can get. Yes, that, that was another reason why we sort of went for the Spitfire over the MG, is there are a lot of parts and uh, the cars themselves are less expensive. Uh, certainly the next sort of thing up was like the MGB and that's, you're getting into really silly money for Well, that. that's one of the other sort of things is that the Spitfire is a Spitfire. The Midget is a smaller MGB. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's an MGB wannabe. Yeah. Surprisingly, it hasn't rained again.
Cars uh, come in here. Hi, sounds like a cool arm. Awesome. There's only one place I can stay. It might be years, it might be days. I just don't know how. Yeah, I'm, I'm Derek. Uh, I'm part of the North East uh, Triumph Club. I've been for about six years now. Um, never found the car that I wanted until sort of like last year. Right. Uh, it's a Spitfire 1500, it's a 1978. Uh, pretty much in the condition that I actually bought it in, but obviously it, it does take a lot of, sort of uh, care and attention to keep it to, to a standard. It certainly looks it, that it's uh, had mm. care and attention lavished on it this one, yeah. yeah. What made you buy this car specifically? Being part of the Triumph Club, a lot of my friends have got Heralds and Spitfires. Mm -hmm. um, it, the Herald never appealed to me. But the fact that all my mates who I've, I've grown up with uh, since I was 17, we've all been part of the same group. And um, they, they've, between them, got, they've got the Tessas and Triumph Heralds and, and Spitfires. Mm -hmm. um, it, it always appealed to me in terms of Spitfire because it was a true British type sports car. Mm -hmm. And uh, not some sort of girly car, but a really sort of, you know, glitzy sort of yeah. sports car. And as soon as I saw this one, I just knew this was the right one. So was it uh, was it in this condition when you bought it, or have you rebuilt it? Pretty much. Now there's a chap called Dave Appleby who um, who uh, rebuilt it himself, and um, unfortunately it wasn't getting used as much as he liked, and uh, uh, he really wanted to sort of pass it on to somebody who would possibly treasure it and so sort of, you know, give it just it deserves it deserves you no. know mm -hmm. in terms of because cars like this need to be seen you know they need to yeah. be driven, uh, and a lot of people appreciate them being on the road. It's amazing when you when you do drive the 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 amount of um, attention you do get in the waves from people. And mm -hmm. People say, "Whoa, what's an old car?" You're like, "Oh, it's a good Nick Vase." You don't know. It's, it's a good feeling. You know? Yeah. Is there uh, anything specific you've done to it since you got it? Uh, any modifications you've made? 
Not really modifications other than sort of put on the, the proper exhaust that it should have on as a full steel, steel uh, sports exhaust, mm -hmm. which is now sort of done. Other things, just generally making sure it's, it's up to stand in terms of maintenance. Um, it, it, it's had a real sort of makeover in terms of maintenance. We took it down to uh, Le Mans, which mm -hmm. was a 1200 mile round trip. And for that, we had to give a damn good service. And one or two things cropped up, which, which we sorted out. But apart from that, it's, it's, it's keeping on top of the car all the time. Yeah. When, I've, when I get the urge, I just get out there and just and just make sure it's uh, it's just nice and clean. Mm -hmm. uh, not only on the outside, but also on the inside in terms of under the bonnet. Because uh, that's the most important part of the car as well. On the way down the south of France, um, we decided to sort of check, uh, check the oil. And um, after we sort of checked it, I think we were going to put some oil in it. Uh, we ran it for a period of time. And every time we'd slow it up, it would cut out and stop. And we thought, oh, I've got a problem here. A uh, friend of mine who went down to France with said, oh, it's not a problem. We'll fix it. We'll just sort it. Mm -hmm. After about 100 miles when we pulled into the petrol station, um, we noticed the problem straight away. The actual cap was actually off. The actual uh, the oil cap was off. Oops. So that's why it was, uh, once you put it back on again, within two or three seconds, it was ticking over beautiful again. You know. And I imagine it's, with the uh, shiny engine there, you'd notice when you left the cap. Yes. Uh, Often, we, um, as we went down to, to France to get the carbs set up properly, mm -hmm. uh, we stopped every so often to take one of the plugs out to make sure it wasn't choked right. up, uh, so it was running a bit leaner. Mm -hmm. um, there was one more we actually checked it in France, and uh, um, Jeffrey decided not to put the lead back on again, so we're firing on three cylinders for about, <laughs> about 300 yards. <laughs> uh, I'd imagine, yeah. Silly other things, though. On a four cylinder engine, that would become obvious fairly quickly. Well, yeah. we thought we were just sticking on the choke or something. <laughs> Now I've actually got the car, is that um, it will remain in the family mm -hmm. uh, and it will be passed on down to the uh, son uh, or sons, depends on which one's going to have it. Um, but hopefully, I'll be running this car for at least another. I'm Graham Bostock, I live in Darlington and I brought along my Spitfire 1500, though for some reason the previous owner has fitted Spitfire Mark IV badges to it. The commission number confirms it is genuinely it is a, a 1500. 1500. Oh. What made you buy this particular car, or a Spitfire in general? The children had all left home, I'd now got some time, I've always been interested in cars so I wanted something that I could basically play with mm -hmm. um, looking through various types and I thought a Spitfire was probably the most practical mm -hmm. uh, to buy and to work on mm -hmm. so I went through Auto Trader eventually yeah. found this one down near Birmingham which n is not too far from where my parents live so I had to go to the NEC I mm -hmm. went and viewed it put a deposit on it and then one Christmas, much to everyone's surprise, I um, turned up in this. <laughs> so had you not told anyone you were getting it? No. Awesome. <laughs> My wife wasn't all that pleased. <laughs> <laughs> Does she like to drive in it? Mm, uh, well, she tolerates it. I mean, one of the reasons it's got a rollover bar is because she said right. she didn't feel very safe without it. So was it uh, was it like this when you bought it? Or? More or less. The only thing was that uh, gearbox was a bit difficult, which driving it back up from Birmingham along the M1, A1 was a little bit difficult because you could not reliably get third and fourth gears. It was okay, right. provided <laughs> you never slowed down. Uh -huh. um, I had budgeted for a new gearbox, but when I looked at it, I spoke to people and they said, oh, you pull the gear gear lever up to get reverse and I said no you don't you just go straight in <laughs> and so uh, from that I worked out there was actually something wrong with the gear lever mechanism mm -hmm. someone had incorrectly assembled it so it just missed the third fourth gate and went straight into reverse so once the bushes were all pushed down into the proper place it worked perfectly mm. it's basically standard there's mm -hmm. a few minor upgrades uh, electronic ignition electric fan Mm -hmm. uh, four branch manifold, brake servo, right. uh, but apart from that it's relatively standard. Mm -hmm. It goes as fast as I need it to. I tend to drive things rather flat out, so right. if it went any faster it, I'd be dangerous.
Um, we'll go and find a pitch so we can sleep together. Hello. Um, we'll go and find a pitch. <laughs> More important than that. Beer. Beer. Welcome, one and all, to our home away from home, our retread campsite. Uh, we've done everything we could to make it look just like my front room, so there was no point in going anywhere. Yeah, there's a lot of work for me and Ian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was not feeling very well. Oh. <sighs> Come on, audience, audience, ah, thank you. Uh, this episode, of, a live audience, yeah, this episode uh, of Retread yeah. is for the very first time filmed in front of a live studio audience. Uh, we went along to a, a local mental home and, uh, <laughs> and sprung some people. Yes, but that was so. mainly the cast. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were tricky as we, we to. That's why the season show well, you know. is ending, because we've got to go back now for the men's. Yes. Yeah, yeah we're going to have Hello people out there in internet land and today we've got an extra special treat for you as you already know is the people out there as well. Yay! Yay! Right, it's the it's the roundup. That's where we round things up like we do every time. You should be getting used to this because it's like the end of the series. Woo! Can go to bed now. Right. <laughs> so on tonight's retread roundup, we're gonna talk about driving tracks. That's like songs. So, um what do you like to listen to while you're driving? Well, I was actually gonna say uh, Beach Boys uh, Surf and Safari because I remember uh, as a kid getting uh, driven around by one of uh, my other friends and uh, he always used to play the Beach Boys but just to dig myself a digger a digger hole a deeper hole um, I've got to go for oh, oh my god, god no Do, well I, I remember this from being in Richard's car many times yeah. um, being in Richard's car is a very scary experience and it's even more so as he does the actions to this song well and goes, reach for the stars while driving. While driving. <laughs> uh, corner coming out says, reach. Everyone else has their own special actions that they pick up very quickly, which is something like this. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've refused to go into his car many a times just on his music selection because he likes Phil Collins as well. <laughs> no, you can't hurry love. I think you can. <laughs> I'm sure you can hurry it. Was that, was that like a Phil Collins song or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah because we've all got tears. The audience didn't get it. We need a laugh track. <laughs> so Simon, ah. what's your, your favourite uh, uh, driving track? Well, I, anything generally 80s guitar based rock, but there's a bit of a revival coming on. So you've got um, bands from the 80s, sort of rock bands that are coming back. One of the biggest guitar heroes is Slash, and he's just released a new album called Apocalyptic Love. And it's the title track from that at the minute. It's just, it's permanently on in my car. Yeah. There you go. So if you like kind of Guns N' Roses stuff, check this guy this guy out with Miles Kennedy. Uh, it's empty, hasn't we got another beer? Oh, it sounds a lot better than Reach for the f Stars. I yeah. <laughs> it's actually, Miles Kennedy sounds very much like the, the Axl Rose in some of the tracks on the album, so check it out, it's good. Yeah, but so how, how come with, with this nice, fast beaten song do you drive so slowly? Practice. Right. Practice. Having having had at one point nine points on my license with two sports cars, you learn to ease off a little bit. And I bought a 4x4. Uh, so it'll go quickly, but it doesn't corner quickly. So if you It doesn't go fast on straights either, it goes about 40 everywhere. <laughs> I yeah, overtook you uphill in a 101. That's because there was corners coming. And believe me, my, my, my truck one does one not I overtook you not. uphill in a 101 and there were no corners involved, otherwise I'd... Can I remind you, this is a Spitfire special, less of the Land Rover rubbish. <laughs> yeah, okay. It was a Toyota, thank you very much. It's and crap. and it won it's last crap. week. Was that a Scottish it's accent? Crap. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's next? Who's next? So what's yours, Ian? Come on. Uh, driving song. It's, it is very difficult to pick one sort of driving song out of you know every possible thing, but I think for me, it's got to be... Uh, and this is the full fat version, mine. Not not the skimmed version that they put on the radio. Not the semi-skimmed version that they have like an end bit on as well. I want the beginning, middle, and end of Meatloaf's "Bad Out of Hell." <laughs> the full nine minutes. Uh, an interesting fact: uh, it's you know from my house to the Metro Centre is two Meatloaf songs. Another interesting <laughs> you can measure fact: measure distance in Meatloaf songs. It's awesome. Another interesting fact is Meatloaf's fat. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah. Well, there's fat content in it. It's not all fat. There is some. I did say it was full fat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
So we're just gonna. I'm gonna have to listen to all of this later because you've started it now. Yeah. So we're just gonna sit here for the next nine minutes listening to the song. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. We'll have to. We'll not have to put that on the air though, because. So yeah, this is the reason you go everywhere quite quickly then, because you're listening to this. I'm listening to the ages actually. Are you just messing about the sound now? <laughs> no, it's it's a, it, it means he takes uh, nine minutes to get anywhere because he has to listen to the whole song. Just takes the long route. Yeah. yeah. He just takes nine minutes to do anything. Yeah. Anything? <clears throat> so, George, well, I suppose he would well, do... It was really hard. It was like trying to... Thank f- you for changing the subject. It was... <laughs> <laughs> It was really hard trying to work out. It's like oh, you haven't you haven't changed the subject at all, have we? Yeah. Oh yeah, we were both on the same page there. Yeah. It was like trying to work out which of the seven dwarfs you'd have sex with most. You Snow want to White. do it with all of them. No, no. Well, Snow no, White. you've got to pick the dwarves. Was Snow White a dwarf? Yeah. <laughs> no, but Snow White was female. She was the tall one. In but if you've got to pick a dwarf, pick a female one, and the were seven one? dwarfs male. Yes. Yeah. There was a female one in, um, uh, not Blade Runner, Total Recall. Yeah. Right, can we go back on the subject? It's about Sorry, me, Phil. Yes. Right? I'm important. So, <laughs> I've been driving people mad picking it because obviously you have your Pink Floyd that's really good. Yeah. Oh, yes. All sorts of like mint music and um, what other, there was loads of other things I was going, oh, like um, ACDC, Black and Black and Black and yeah. stuff like that. What eventually I went with was a bit of um, Zeppelin, and here it is. I'll let you listen to it. Put your foot down and. So, so, so we're listening heaven. to top of the top of the pops now. Right? Is this stairway to heaven? What you need? Oh, oh, it's that one. Right, okay. Yeah. It's that one that I have no idea what the title is, but I've heard it before. <coughs> one of those tracks. We'll put the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're, we're just going to keep it everyone's keep it hidden from um, from Sai, so it's it's here. Everyone everyone's heard the song, but you know, people don't necessarily know the, the name of it. Oh, I can feel another one coming. What, another baby? <laughs> no, but... Five. Right, so we've done the songs. What was Well, we've song done our songs. What? Yes, ah, yeah, we've got to ask the audience, haven't we? Yeah, so, so audience members. Do anyone, we need a mic? Uh, anyone want to... Uh, well, if they yell out, you know, we'll yell them. Uh, anyone want to shout out a favourite driving song? Bird is the word. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Bird, 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 bird. I'll just yeah. like karaoke now. We yeah. sing. We sing this kind of word. We have to sing it. From the crazy frog. I, I, I feel hasn't got all the songs. You know, he's, yeah, he's so not that we, clever. We, but uh, to premonate them. Oh, yes, is he? Aqua Barbie girl. I'm a Barbie girl in a party. No. You're That's a fantastic. You're in the right key there as well. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. He knows um, the words, it's worrying. He knows <laughs> words. Anyway, any, any other votes? Midnight City by M83. You want to play it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we all just you got to push it. Play, play. But I'm sure it's better than Barbie Girl. Yeah. Midnight City by M83, is that a new one? Phil can put it in. Is it a new band, is it? Or an old band? Or? Not, not too old, no, too new, no. No? Alright, okay. Does he got it? <laughs> that was quick. That's how good very I feel, clever, isn't, isn't he? it? Yeah. He's efficient. Atmosphere. What about the younger members of the audience? Come on. What would you like to listen to in the truck? Tr- right now, DJ Fresh. Alright, okay. What the, what the, what huh? the? What? <laughs> Something that doesn't have guitars in and, like, you know, for old farts like us. You mean crap? <laughs> no, that's no. very judgmental of you, Phil. It, it is, is very much so. It's very normal the, of you, Phil. Yeah, you are the the youngster of the the, 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 the four of us. Yeah, but I'm is, is Phil going to have it? <coughs> well, give him a second, you know. He's got. Uh, he's got a. He's good, isn't he? The IT department's working overtime today. Yeah, yeah but he made us listen to it. This what? sounds like oh. something you would have heard in a nightclub on Book Rogers in the twenty fifth century. <laughs> I was just thinking, it sounds like um, you know. What was that little little uh, robot called in Book Rogers? Winnie, 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 yeah, Twiggy. that one. Twiggy. I was just thinking it was shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. He needs educating. Yeah. Mm. Anyone else? Don't fear the Reaper Blue Oyster Cult. Ooh, oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. I do like that. Oh, we're gonna, is somebody going to sing it? We've done what? that for all the rest. I have Don't a little bit of trivia. <laughs> like, I have a little bit of trivia. Apparently, that if you're listening to a song that's over 120 beats a minute. Uh huh. Um, you're more likely to exceed the speed limit. Mm. Apparently, that's, that's the, the, the faster the beat on your music, the more likely you are to speed. If you listen to Phil Collins, you're more likely to kill yourself because the music's that bad. I was introduced to this song by a computer game. This computer is game? a definite it one. Was a headla- it was the headline song on a computer game called Ripper. 
Oh, really? which came on six <laughs> six CDs. Six CDs. Yeah. Oh, wow. Was that and featured Christopher Walken? Really? Yeah. Very good. Um, good. I want I've got a car program rather than a music computer. program. Yeah, computer. That that was called a tangent. Oh, yeah. I can reverse out of it now if you want. So yeah. we have cake now, because seen it's a birthday party. Yes, it is Spitfire fiftieth birthday. Uh, so come on, cake. come on, wench. That's certainly one way of uh, lighting the lighting candle. Cake. We are men. And well, let us put them on first. <laughs> you know what? Do you think we can actually blow the candles out using these? Well, we'll have lit them. This is not a challenge. It is. To burn the table, you spazzers. You know what spaz monkeys they are? Why is that one, why is that one got a 60 foot claim on it? <laughs> why? Because it's like a load of poppers. I thought you said it was fast at lighting candles. Well, it's faster. No, what happened was it was. We do actually have 50 clips. candles. Yeah, we do. It's just it's taking him time to light each one. Quickly. You missed you, you miss some in the middle. Yeah, Why what? didn't you start in the middle? You. F- what happened was some idiot started blowing them out. I, I didn't blow any. There's another one in the middle. Of it. <laughs> That's uh, we're in a tent, you know. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Right. Oh, Are we gonna blow them out? Can we can we blow them out with the, with these? Mm. Yeah. I want to see if we can. Ready? All for right. Let's let's, let's all let's yeah. all get in with with a, a beer in one hand and a right. ready. One, two, three. I didn't work for the bed. We need a cleaner. <laughs> ah, keep your Spitfires on the road, people. <laughs> So for all the latest on Retread and to keep up with our blogs, please visit the website at www.retread.tv. Or you can uh, sub- subscribe to our YouTube channel. And email us. Don't forget to hit the like button on Facebook and also follow us on the Twitter feed. And on a serious note, don't drink and drive because you might spill some. <laughs> <laughs>